All right, time for lunch, but today, Chef Judy has a brunch idea instead. Judy? That's right. I love when the cooking magazines start coming to my house every month, and I get so excited to find creative recipes from different restaurants around the country. Well, this one is based from a recipe I found in Food and Wine, and I've adopted it slightly, and I think Ray will be happy because he can omit the bagel or use a gluten-free bagel and have a wonderful brunch. I found these bagels. They're a baguette bagel, so they really give you the best of both worlds, similar to a Bialy over at Whole Foods. We're going to take some home homemade fresh ricotta cheese and whip that with some zest of lemon and lemon juice and we are going to brown gently the summer squash and zucchini I'll teach you a technique to get rid of that extra water with it and we've toasted up some hazelnuts so stay with me we have a creative brunch item today it's not your bagels and locks we'll be back in just a few minutes to get started what also sounds good is a creative brunch idea with Chef Judy Gallagher. Chef? Nice lead in there. I love it. So we're going to take three summer squash and one zucchini, and you can mix that up. The thing to know about zucchini and summer squash is they do have a lot of water retention. That's why when you cook them, they tend to get soggy. So a simple saute is going to work. What I want you to do is cut the ends and the tip off. Then you're going to cut them lengthwise, just like this. You're going to sprinkle that with olive oil, about two to three tablespoons salt and pepper. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn this over and keep that bowl right underneath. And we're going to let this drain just slightly tipped up there for about 10 to 12 minutes. That's going to get some of that excess water out. Then we're going to take our cast iron pan and we're going to lay down the squash in olive oil. And we're just going to slightly brown it. So you hear the sizzle, obviously, because it's a cast iron pan, but I only have it set at a medium temperature. So we don't want to get it too quickly browned where it's still going to be a bit tough in the inside. So we're going to let that go for about five minutes, but we're going to move it around a little bit. Now let's talk about these, these great bagels. I don't know if you know what a bialy is. A bialy is between a bagel and a hard roll. So now we have a baguette bagel, which I think is just wonderful. And I was looking for ways that I could serve something, a creative bagel dish and a creative dish for my friends that are vegetarian. And this is how I found this recipe. Now this also works as a wonderful side dish. If you want to serve it in a little casserole or a mini cast iron. So let's just take a look. So you can start to see what I do is where you see it's starting to brown be fantastic and I can feel that the heat's going to really let that be a little more tender so we're going to add one more piece face down first that's just how I can remember now we come back and show you a little tip on how to peel the hazelnuts hazelnuts you have to get that skin off but there's a new way and we'll walk you through it whip up the ricotta cheese with some zest of lemon and then we'll marinate the squash, and it's really going to be a flavorful dish. So come back. We'll get this part started and ready for the next. Now time for our own first lady. Here is Chef Judy in the kitchen. Take it Ooh, away. hard to live up to that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this is what I love are the cooking tips. Simple little cooking tip that I didn't know. I knew to roll your mint and kind of squeeze it to express it. This is even easier. Hit it a little bit, just like you would with lemongrass. Hit it on the cutting board, and that's going to express the mint. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a dressing. So we're going to take white wine vinegar. We're going to take extra virgin olive oil. You want that nice, beautiful green color that's going to go in there. Garlic, enough from one clove. You don't want the garlic too overpowering. We'll do, it's a pinch of crushed red pepper. It's probably about a half a teaspoon. And we'll do about three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar. And this basically makes the vinaigrette. So we're going to let this sit there like that, okay? Then we're going to come over and we're going to take the squash that's been brown that's slightly cooled and you're going to cut it into about two ounce pieces. And just to show you, I'll do a couple like this. Now let's talk about hazelnuts. 
When you buy hazelnuts in bulk, they're going to come with that shell on it. So they're going to come with these dark shells. The best way to blanch hazelnuts to get them off is to add four teaspoons of baking soda into rolling boiling water. Blanch those for three and a half minutes in a colander, take paper towel, and you can wipe the skins off. Even better is if you can buy the hazelnuts already peeled. But that's what you need to do. Then you put them peeled on a pan with just a little bit of olive oil and salt, and that goes in the oven just to get them toasted up and brown. Now we're gonna take the ricotta. The reason why I went with a real artisan ricotta cheese is the happier and the more grazing that the cows get, the more they're gonna produce a really rich milk, which makes a really rich cheese. So we're gonna take our toasted baguette bagel. And I mean, you can just serve this with rustic bread, or like I said, you can omit the bagel if you want. And then what we're gonna do, we mix the ricotta with a little zest of lemon, a little more on top. Now, take the mint out of that dressing marinade that you made for the squash. You're gonna remove that, and then we're just gonna pile this on a little bit. Oh, and I can smell just, little bit of the mint and the red pepper. So we'll put that on there and then we're gonna garnish it and we come back, I think we're ready to serve brunch. We'll be back in a few minutes for the first taste. Nice. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. It's a lot of work. We were talking about Thomas uh, Keller's we were. cookbook. We were. We were and, and saying that uh, this is absolutely very Thomas Keller-like. Uh. I mean, it is fresh. Uh, fresh squashes and it's delightful. And you know, we forget in the summer we're, we're lacking produce, but we do mm. grow summer squash here. Mm -hmm. And this is the time that it's coming in. Serve it with a nice rose cava and the toasted chopped hazelnuts. And it just makes for a really light meal and great for somebody that wants to eat vegetarian style. And it's nice and it's rustic. And it's, yeah, it's I love rustic as you know. Eat. Good stuff. On our website, mysuncoast.com, click on the dining link page. It'll take you right there and give you Chef Judy's video instructions as well. Judy, thanks so much. Very Thank tasty. you, John.